twice a year, a small group of Sundance Institute fellows spend five days in the Utah mountains to focus on crafting the most compelling version of their original feature film scripts. The WGAW has a year-round relationship with the Institute and most of the lab's mentors are guild members who volunteer to nurture these emerging screenwriters in the hopes of getting their works to the next level and launching their professional careers. Angle On visited the class of 2009 at this year's Sundance Film Festival to talk about what they learned from their experiences. Being accepted to the Sundance Institute uh, Screenwriters Lab, uh, I think it's just a great opportunity for, for everyone who got to go to really work intensively on the script and, um, and not to be able to hide from any of the soft spots um, that uh, are lurking in all of our writing. Writing is such a weird, lonely thing anyway, and, uh, and you never really know what's going on. Like, you think you do, and you can read screenwriting books and you can do whatever else, but really you just don't know what you're doing out there. It's like, you know, and, um, and you would wish to have these people, you know, these people that are the top of their game, these people that are like, you know, the cream of the crop, just be able to guide you through it, and that's what we're lucky enough to have for those five days. I mean, it's one thing to have to, to have an agent invest in your career and sort of make you into a product, but it's this whole other thing to have this incredible artistic support and these people that have, that in age are just, have been, have been down the road and in terms of their career have done all these things that you have no idea of and it's incredible to have that like backbone there and that support. In addition, like they were very supportive of our individual voices, like they all got a sense of who how we write and who we are as writers and sort of where we're trying to go so there was definitely this sort of like um, I mean not everyone maybe uh, agrees with your vision for things but they definitely were trying to support your like who you were trying to be as a screenwriter. What I think I did right in my, in my interview was I think that I got into my interview and been like well I think my script is awesome like I think it's almost done. I don't think there's then what reason would I have to be at the lab? You know, I think they were looking for people that uh, have work to do on their script and they think that they can teach you something. And I think that they're looking for people who are ready to uh, take criticism and mm -hmm. dismantle what they have and build something new. I was just so amazed that people were so open to taking this criticism from, from these very established screenwriters, but also really staying true to your voice. You have to be sure of your own voice in a way. You have to know the story that you're trying to tell. You, you have to know your, your scripts. Uh, and when, when you do that, and uh, when, you, when you're open to hearing uh, criticism about it, it can be, that's when you get the most out of it. My sense was, from everybody who's here is you have to have done something before you get here. Mm -hmm. Like the, one of the really impressive things about the lab is we watch all each other's work um, as we're going through each other's screenplay and the, every, like everybody who is here has just done, made a film or written something that is really, really impressive already. But I had a book I wanted to adapt and they just read my book and they liked my book. So, and they knew I wanted to be the one to adapt it and that was my project, which I was totally surprised. I wasn't, I didn't write a book to get into the Sundance Screenwriters Lab. You know, the same with me, like I just made a short film for like $2,000 with my friends and we shot at my house, you know, but that's what it's all about is just doing it, you know, and just finding your own voice. And when it comes to screenwriting, you know, everyone's going to tell you what to do, you're going to read books, you're going to watch movies, but it really comes down to like, it's like music, like you know the rules, then you just got to let go of the rules and just follow your own voice. You know, because no matter how tight you're, you know, it could be really loose screenplay, but as long as you have a voice in there and they see something, that's what's going to get you in. No, the one thing I really learned from this and that I came away with just hearing over and over in my head is make a lot of mistakes. Make mm -hmm. tons of mistakes. Just keep making mistakes and make mistakes and make mistakes. It's about being open, uh, listening to, to the advisors and really hearing what they're saying, uh, listening to your yourself and your own uh, what you want to do with the scripts and looking at that as deeply as you can mm -hmm. and and then being open to how it's going to change I mean we come, you come into this with one script and maybe you leave with a, a, a new a, an idea for you know a script that's changed almost completely and that's a great thing and if you can be open to that then I think you're you're in a good place I think that's it is just to do it and do it over and over again and write every day that's what Walter Mosley said. He wakes up at 5.30 every morning just to write, yeah. you know, and just to do that. Don't, right. don't be precious with your words. Don't be precious with your craft. Just do it because that's what it is. It's just it's more like, you know, building the tools. It's closer to building a house than it is like painting, you know, 
some glorious masterpiece. I, I was so shocked that people who are this really brilliant, I mean, structurally and just creatively brilliant. Um, I was shocked that they would make this investment in me and my work. And I would say don't be afraid to, to reach out to people you really respect and ask for their help and ask them to read something of yours and just ask them to be that mentor in your life. We were talking about rewriting um, and somebody said, we were talking about how like sometimes you have your script and then you just don't want to change it. Like it just is kind of painful to like come and like pull out a cog and then the wheel breaks, you know, and then everything breaks and then everything falls apart. Um, and, and that's really what you have to do is just keep keep on rewriting something. And somebody said that, you know, the story isn't, uh, the story is in you and the and the script is just the paper on which that is translated. And it's that's just a transient document um, that's always going to be in motion and the actual solid thing is whatever the story is inside of you and that's just like a way of looking at it that just sort of can make you a little more fearless. As far as advice to give to someone else uh, um, I would say uh, just keep submitting. This was the third time the, the, the lab looked at this script so just you know don't stop. Mm -hmm.